So welcome everybody to the 15th annual Student Veterans of America National Conference. I'd like to begin today by acknowledging that we are here together in Orlando, Florida, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Seminole, Muscogee, and Muscoga people. On behalf of Student Veterans of America and all those gathered here today, it is important first that I pay my respect to elders both past and present. Thank you. It is a truly wonderful thing to see each and every one of you here. I am not exaggerating in the least when I say that SVA's national conference is the highlight of my year, and it starts at the beginning of the year. And this year is even more special as we get ready to celebrate the 15th anniversary of Student Veterans of America. But before I kind of jump into some of my remarks, uh, we've been hearing a bit of spirited uh, efforts here uh, with the branch services. Uh, the first uh, class I ever took when I got out of the Navy was at a community college. It's now called Eastern Florida State University, but it was Brevard Community College when I was there. And uh, the first class I ever took was a public speaking course. And the biggest takeaway from that course is that you should always try to get to know your audience whenever you speak. And really, that's what the next few days are about. It's all of us getting to know each other. It's individual chapters from all throughout the United States, U.S. territories, and a few countries overseas coming together to truly get to know each other and be the change we'd like to see in the world. Uh, so to that end, I'd like to, if you'll indulge uh, my prerogative of being at the microphone for a minute, uh, I'd like to get to know each of you a little bit better. Uh, so I'll ask that you sound off in any way that you feel most appropriate, but where is the United States Army? They always, they always start off first, right? They're a big group and they're loud, but I would, I would love to hear from the world's finest sailors of the world's finest Navy. Where is the United States Navy at? Hooyah Navy, felt that in my core, thank you. Now, sometimes referred to uh, as the smallest branch, I would maybe argue they're the meanest. Where are our United States Marines? There's actually only like 200 of them here, but they fill up a room when they yell, right? Uh, speaking of the real motivators, where is the United States Air Force? They're always, they're always so polite, the Air Force. I, I love them. And then, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's hear from the mighty U.S. Coast Guard. You hear it? It gets bigger every year. We, we love the coast. We truly do. Our coasties are fantastic. Now, um, this is a newer one. We only started it last year, but anybody from the Space Force? <laughs> There's a few social media influencers in the audience today for everyone's awareness. Listen, the, the Space Force officially started producing their first veterans next year, so we can't wait to welcome them to the classroom. And listen, y'all, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge a group that, uh, that without them, we all couldn't do what we do. Uh, so if you're somebody who identifies as a uh, family member of somebody who has served or is serving, a supporter or an ally, could we hear from you? Let Let's all give it up for our family members, supporters, and allies. Thank you for being here. So listen, everybody, over, over this last year in uh, 2022, I had the opportunity to kind of think about what 2023 means uh, as we move into the 15th anniversary of Student Veterans of America. And honestly, anniversaries are a time to reflect on how far we've come, and more importantly, where we're headed. Uh, but of all, it's a, a time to celebrate as well. Uh, so to each of you in this room who took time away from school, from work, from your families, your individual responsibilities, I thank you for being here to celebrate with us. Day in and day out, you are our inspiration. You are the reason why our headquarters staff creates programming and advocates all year for student veterans. You are the reason why we work tirelessly to achieve policy that best reflects the needs of our population. And you are the reason why we take great care in researching absolutely everything that we can to better reflect your needs in our programming and advocacy. It's not a stretch to say that you make our SVA world go round. There are days when I still pinch myself realizing that I get to do my dream job as your national president and CEO. 
of this incredible organization that today currently serves more than 750,000 student veterans each year at more than 1,500 campus chapters in every US state, territory, and three countries overseas. And I know that I'm not at all alone in facing a little bit of imposter syndrome when I wonder exactly how I personally got here, both in this role and on this stage in front of all of you. But as I walk these halls of Disney's Coronado Springs, having a chance to shake your hands, catch a few hugs, um, and when I sit down with our partners who are so deeply invested in each of your success, I'm reminded of who I am and why I have the chance to do what I do. You see, my personal journey as a student veteran began at Brevard Community College in Melbourne, Florida, uh, just a few months after I got off of active duty in the Navy. I worked full time at Northrop Grumman during the day and I took classes at night at the community college. I eventually became a transfer junior at a small state school not far from here in Florida, Florida State University, where I first became involved with SVA. I started off by being voluntold uh, to become our club's vice president uh, and then later I was elected as the chapter president and eventually I became student veteran of the year uh, at SVA's fourth national conference which was in Vegas that year. We haven't been back to Vegas since. There's, <laughs> y'all are wonderful. <laughs> uh, I went on to earn a master's degree at Syracuse University while I worked full time at, at the time, uh, a new institute that had been formed for interdisciplinary research uh, to study the transition issues of veterans and military families, today known as the Institute for Veterans and Military Families. And today, I do have the chance to stand before you as a student veteran again, as I enter this spring, my last semester of coursework in pursuit of my PhD from the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs at Syracuse University. <laughs> Doing all of this while working full time at SVA uh, and raising a beautiful little ginger uh, with my incredible wife, Shayla. Um, and I'm just one story of so many. And when we talk about 15 years of Student Veterans of America, what we're really talking about are the millions that SVA has served. Those who have gone on to lead in their workplaces, their communities, and on the national stage. These are stories that are like mine, but also they're stories that are so different from mine because the veteran population is beautifully diverse. A fabric woven of all of our individual stories, the stories in this room and on campuses across the country, as well as the many who have come before us. Much like America is an ongoing experiment, Student Veterans of America, it's an experiment. It began as a handful of driven individuals who saw a need and started to fulfill it. First by connecting virtually, and we always hate to date ourselves, but on MySpace. <laughs> is anyone still friends with Tom? Then we moved together uh, to cast a larger net around student veterans nationwide with additional sites that were set on policymakers uh, who represented us, all continuing to fill the needs as the world evolved around us. Our founders of SVA realized that there was strength in banding together and forging a new path. And each year, that once small number of individuals has continued to grow to a community that is now millions strong. And to that end, I just wanted to take an opportunity to acknowledge one of our founders who is sitting in the front row, who has a birthday coming up as well, who just got engaged. If you could give it up and please stand, Mr. Derek Blumke. Get on your feet. Now, Derek is an Air Force veteran, so never let it be said that the Air Force is not a strong part of this organization. But if we think about it in both the American and the SVA experiences, there are a shared goal of a distant perfection that is on our horizon. And I'd like to argue at the same time the imperfection of the present and simply being in the process midstream is beautiful in and of itself. It is an ever-evolving dance to both be proud of what is good while acknowledging the needs of what has to be fixed. We have yet to find a perfect symmetry, but the asymmetry of not always knowing the answer, of being comfortable in doubt, of possessing the vision without necessarily knowing how we'll achieve it, fumbling towards success while experiencing all the bright spots and the challenges along the way. It's all beautiful, and it is quintessentially 
the service member, and veteran experience. Because each of us has challenges, and once they are overcome, there is no resting on our collective laurels, but rather a commitment to keep striving and progressing, no matter how many successes we have under our belts. It's the human condition told through the lens of a devoted community. And our story can only be told while standing on the shoulders of giants, which is also the theme of this milestone 15th annual national conference. Just as I recognized the Native American tribes to begin our session today, it is my hope that we all think of those who have come before us. For it is those that have come before us that laid the foundation that we all walk on now, just as we shall for those who will come after us. As they say, it's the journey, not the destination. And we at SVA are so honored and grateful to be on this journey with you. Because we are here to celebrate 15 years of SVA and to celebrate each of you who are gathered with us, we have planned the most robust NatCon in the organization's history. And it's our commitment to the future we know that each of you have, which is extraordinarily bright. But before I get to that, let's take a moment to look back on a few of the highlights from 2022. After two years of virtual life during a global pandemic, which I'm sure we all loved, uh, thanks in large part to the Boeing company and many incredible partners, SVA's regional summits took place in person in 2022. We hosted regional summits in Chicago, Atlanta, Phoenix, Portland, and Providence last summer. And if you haven't attended a regional summit, you really should. Please know that regional summits train SVA chapter leaders in a variety of topics, from strategic planning for your chapter, to seeking opportunities for expanded leadership, to training for the campus liaison program, and even setting personal goals and expectations for those that you serve through your SVA chapter. In 2022, regional summits trained our first group of diversity, equity, and inclusion liaisons, a meaningful step towards inclusive environments for campuses where SVA chapters operate. And every year, regional summits provide a wealth of resources for SVA chapters at any point in their chapter trajectory. Regional summits are designed for all chapters, every summer, just before the new school year starts, and often after chapter officer elections. In October of 2022, SVA held our, re our Leadership Institute in Washington, D.C., where the top SVA chapter leaders from around the country were invited to spend several days experiencing the premier student leadership experience in the United States. More than 100 SVA chapter leaders were rigorously selected from the most demanding and holistic leadership institute in our history. The foundational curriculum centers on the exploration of a wide-ranging portion of core values, a commitment to delivering results, both professionally and personally, as well as a nuanced practice of building long-lasting relationships, I'd argue friendships. This year, those tenants were also joined by an entirely new advanced curriculum that covered topics such as mental models, culture, building a team, and the importance of clear and effective communication. And this incredible group of SVA leadership fellows took in some of the sites while they were in Washington, D.C to include being invited to a private tour of the White House by President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. More than that, we added an entirely new post-Leadership Institute experience leading up to NatCon this year. Each and every SVA Leadership Fellow, uh, which is the title that is earned upon graduation from the Leadership Institute, left with a personal leadership mission statement, a communication strategy, and an action plan. Since then, more time has been spent learning from their peers and their mentors as they execute these plans in the real world. There is no leadership development event, in my opinion, that rivals the SVA Leadership Institute, where we are building the next greatest generation of American leadership, who are prepared to solve the complex problems that our country will face in the future. Your SVA Government Affairs team led the charge in fighting for military-connected students, student veterans, military families, survivors, this past year by elevating their collective voices to key decision makers in Washington, D.C. Throughout 2022, our team submitted six congressional testimonies and statements for the record to the United States House of Representatives and the United States Senate, while attending a total of nearly 100 meetings with federal agencies to include the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, the Department of Education, the Department of Defense, the Department of Labor, Small Business Administration, members of Congress and their staffs, as well as the White House. To that end, SVA was successful in advocating for improvements to several major higher education regulations, such as borrower's defense, public service loan forgiveness, and closing, finally, the 90-10 loophole. 
as well as supporting nine bills that made it through at least one chamber of Congress. Most recently, in the final days of 2022, we capped the year off by achieving our top organizational priority, which was protecting student veterans and their education benefits during future national emergencies to include pandemics, with Congress passing the Veterans Auto and Education Improvement Act of 2022. The results of that effort will be felt for years and generations to come. In more good news, and launched just a few weeks ago, SVA is proud to be one of the beneficiaries of Hanks for the Troops Coffee Company, a new charitable company started by the one and only Tom Hanks, where 100% of profits go towards organizations that provide critical support and resources to veterans. You can visit givehanks.com, that's Hanks with an X, the same way that Tom Hanks signs his letters on one of his dozens of antique typewriters. When you get to that website, you're going to see some familiar faces in their Stories from the Field page. We're in good company alongside of Bob Woodruff Foundation, Headstrong, and Higher Heroes USA. And we're excited to see how the brand unfolds as one of the most beloved stars is at its helm with some of those profits coming to SVA. Now, looking to the year ahead for 2023, with a few quick snapshots. Your team at your SVA headquarters in Washington, D.C. is very excited about the launch of My SVA 2.0, reimagining the original portal to more effectively connect everyone in this room to a plethora of scholarships, to countless opportunities like internships and events, and to chapter tools such as strategic plans and governing documents, making it easier for your SVA chapter to thrive. You can think of My SVA as your one-stop shop to empower your education, your chapter, and your career. If you are already registered for My SVA, please check back often so that you don't miss up on some of these game-changing opportunities. And when you get back to campus, please keep your contact information updated, as well as registering your chapter members so that everyone can receive special invitations from SVA headquarters. And if you haven't signed up yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? No, I mean it go to studentveterans.org and get started. Similarly, SVA is moving forward on some of the highly impactful updates of our online career center. In partnership with Direct Employers Association and the National Association of State Workforce Agencies, the SVA Career Center on our website has currently posted over three million available jobs. Yes, I said three million available jobs. And the SVA Career Center highlights many diverse corporate partners via the SVA Partner Directory. I'm excited to share that there will be several new features debuting in the months ahead for 2023 with some big plans for the Career Center over the next year. This includes professional mentoring, career readiness programming, and unparalleled exposure to top employers who are already committed to hiring student veterans for both internships and career opportunities. And this becomes a resource for all student veterans, military connected students, family members, and survivors in your chapters back on campus. Through our partnership with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is hiring our HEROES program, we'll also be launching several virtual career fairs throughout 2023. These will be open to all those connected to the SVA network. But wait, there's more, because you have to say that now. That, was, that, was that a tough dad joke? That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. I did my best here. But you can come to support programming along with the SVA's leadership continuum in the Career Center, which will seek to additionally support those on active duty who are also in transition, veterans who are not yet enrolled in school, and our family members. So stay tuned for this news shortly as it comes available. And at risk of repeating myself, you can always find that news on my SVA. We are also proud to announce a new partnership with 4Block, which seeks to fill a critical gap in career services for a diverse population of student veterans. Together, we have begun the scaffolding for a proactive and productive collaboration that will focus on streamlining access to proven career readiness programming, specifically for prior enlisted service members, just like myself, who are transitioning to our civilian lives through higher education. This new partnership is going to build upon prior investments to create a stronger student veteran career network using effective, evidence-based career readiness programming and an engaged employee network. This will provide a whole person approach to meaningful careers for student veterans. A reoccurring challenge that we continue to hear from SVA chapters every year is the difficulty in recruiting new chapter members to our organization. Additionally, student veterans who are currently, uh, 
who are currently changing their degree plan on average 2.3 times over their academic journey compared to 1.7 times for those who did not serve in the military. So thanks in part to a large investment made by Raytheon Technologies, we've been able to begin solving these problems through the development of our National Academic Advising Center, or the NAC for short, because we had to have an acronym. We're excited to launch this as a resource for incoming student veterans later this year. A goal for the NAC was to include cutting edge technology and artificial intelligence to deliver the greatest possible outcomes. An SVA partner that I'm pleased to announce today for the first time is our new friends at Beamery. Recognized as an ethical AI talent lifecycle management leader, Beamery will power the technology behind the NAC and the Career Center to deliver a personalized career and degree exploration experience for new to college student veterans, as well as transitioning service members and their families. For nearly a decade, Beamery has been hyper-focused on building a technology that enables their clients to unlock the full potential of the global workforce. Now, in collaboration with SVA, they're invested in helping the veteran community to unlock their full potential, both academically and in our career journeys. Lastly, S the SVA Racial Justice Task Force was convened this past fall for our ongoing commitment to justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. These efforts have also been made possible through the generous support of Raytheon Technologies. The Racial Justice Task Force will be providing additional educational support and content development for SVA leadership and campus chapters, which includes contributing to the development of educational and informational materials for SVA outreach, trainings, and curriculum. Further, the task force will assist SVA around issues of racial justice and provide recommendations as well as best practices. The task force will also serve in an advisory capacity for the SVA Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Liaison Program, which I already mentioned a little earlier. And the next meeting of the SVA Racial Justice Task Force is happening right here at this year's NatCon. More than that, SVA is in deep planning mode for the Student Veterans of America inaugural Representation and Inclusion Summit, which will take place in Washington, D.C. this spring. It'll be comprised of both student veterans and higher education leaders. All of this from our progress made in the last year, or more accurately, the last 15 years, as well as our very big plans for the year ahead, and the next 15 years, of course, is only possible through the support of our most dedicated sponsors. SVA's presenting sponsor this year of our national conference is our great partners at the Boeing Company, and we thank them from the bottom of our collective heart. And of course, a huge thanks to the Walt Disney Company and Disney World Resorts for being an awesome place to NatCon. And we have so much gratitude for those partners that are spearheading our momentum into the future of Student Veterans of America, including Beamery, Comcast NBC Universal, the PwC Charitable Foundation, Raytheon Technologies, Microsoft, and, and our friends at the Wounded Warrior Project. On January 23rd, SVA will turn 15 years old. This is a testament to the fact that each of you belong in higher education and that together, we are continuing to strive to create more veteran inclusive campuses wherever students are leveraging the transformative power of higher education. As you listen to our speakers over the next few days, shake hands and catch up on hugs with fellow student veterans and SVA partners. When you dive deeper into our breakout sessions and partake in yoga or the wear blue run to remember, remembrance run, please take a moment to think about SVA's 15 years of impact. Think about the millions served, the careers sparked, the leadership that abounds, and the lifelong friendships that have been created and are yet to be forged. And think about what your contribution to this legacy will be. What present imperfection will cause you to strive, all while recognizing the beauty of your own unique process? On behalf of all of our staff at your SVA National Headquarters and our National Board of Directors, we know that you will do incredible things here and every step of the way as we cheer you on. Please go forth and leave everything you see just a little bit better than you found it. Do this and you will truly leave a legacy worthy of your service. Thank you all for attending, thank you for your attention, and thank you for coming to the 15th anniversary of our organization via this year's NatCon. Thank you. <laughs>